Learn how zero plays a crucial role in understanding place value, decimals, and negative numbers. Hello, young mathematicians. Today, we're going to talk about something very important in math, something that might seem small, but is actually a big deal. We're talking about the number zero. Now, some of you might think that zero means nothing. And in a way, you're right, if zero is standing all alone, it does represent nothing. But here's the interesting part, when zero pairs up with other numbers, it takes on a whole new meaning. Let me share a real-life example. I know a child who sees the number 10 as just 1, because she thinks the zero means nothing. But this isn't quite right, and here's why. Think about the number 10. It isn't just a 1 and a 0, it's actually 1 10. That zero plays a very special role. It tells us that we have no units left over and that our one is in the tens place, not the ones place. If we didn't have the zero, we wouldn't know that this one represents ten. We'd just see it as one. The zero is like a superhero sidekick, giving our numbers power and position. And it's not just positive numbers. Zero also helps with negative numbers and decimals. For example, minus ten means we're ten units below zero and 0 0.5 means we have half of 1. Without 0, we'd be lost. Let's dive a bit deeper. When we write numbers, we use a system called place value. Each digit in a number has a value based on its position. In the number 100, the zeros tell us there are no tens and no ones, just 100. It tells us that this is a three-digit number. If we took away those zeros, we'd just have 1, which is very different from 100. Similarly, in decimals, 0 shows us fractions of a whole. For example, 0 0.05 means 5 hundredths or 5%. Without 0, we'd just have 5, which is much larger than 0 0.05. 0 also plays a crucial role in negative numbers. When we see minus 10, the zero helps us understand that we're 10 units below zero. It's like a marker that shows us where we are on the number line. Let's illustrate this with a number line. Zero sits right in the middle. On the right side of zero, we have positive numbers, 1, 2, 3, and so on. On the left side of zero, we have negative numbers, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, and so on. Zero is the point where positive and negative numbers meet. It's the balance point, the center of our number system. Without zero, we wouldn't have a reference point to separate positive and negative values. It helps us understand distance and direction. For instance, if you owe someone $10, you can think of it as being 10 units below zero, which helps you visualize how much you need to get back to zero, or balance. And let's not forget multiplication. Any number multiplied by zero equals zero. This might seem strange at first, but it makes sense if you think about it. If you have zero groups of something, you have nothing at all. So, young mathematicians, next time you see a zero, remember, it's not just nothing, it's something very special. It helps us understand place value, decimals, and even negative numbers. It's a powerful part of our number system that makes everything work. Keep exploring, keep asking questions, and most importantly, keep having fun with math. Remember, zero might look like nothing, but it means a whole lot. Parents, ready to discover the magic of numbers? Dive into our world of math exploration. Subscribe for thrilling insights and unforgettable learning experiences. Let's embark on this emotional journey together. Hit subscribe now and let the excitement begin.